Hey guys, quick overview on the 2022 Santa holding snow globe. It's super simple. It is layered. You're not going to have these layers. These are just my sample images that I'm uh, putting up on the site, but I just want to show you how many different styles. You can do singles, you can do newborns, you can do families. Um, above, you'll see this layer here, place subject here. Um, that's beneath the glass and snow. So it's easiest if you take a picture of someone on fake snow or white, etc. And I'll show you why. Grab your picture, hit your selection tool, hit select subject. Photoshop will do its thing. It's not always perfect. If it doesn't grab at all, you can always grab your plus and add to it by just brushing over the area. And then you'll hit your select and mask. My settings for select and mask, my feathers about be, usually between one and two. If yours does not look like this preview here, you can go up and hit the real time refinement and then you can choose view overlay and then your color is whatever color you want. I choose red. So I go to feather between one and three and then I'm gonna put my output to a new layer with layer mask down here. Then your refine edge tool, just go around and refine the edge. What this is doing is applying the settings from the right to your image. So it's refining the edge, it's feathering it, it's just perfecting it. I'm not too worried about this down here. Again, you'll see why when I say shoot them on white or um, fake snow or something to make your lives a little easier and here's why. So I'm going to duplicate that layer into the Santa snow globe and then I'm going to pull it under the glass and snow layer, which means you've got the glass look already. See, you pull it and the snow's there, the glass is there. I'm going to rotate mine so that the light shining on the baby is coming from the center here. And as you can see, you see that white there? how it was already part of it makes it easier to blend because now once you get in here you can take your if you've missed anything like this you can take your black and just brush it off around the edge of the globe and then you can take your white brush you can lower the opacity and then you can just brush in a little bit of that snow from the original picture to make it blend nicer. So then you have all of your shadows from your original, and then you can, what I would do if you're using a white snow is add a selective color and clip it by clicking this here and match your whites to the white in the globe, which the white in the globe is a little bit warmer. So I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow and then I'll show you the difference there and then I'm just going to soften this right into the edge here because it's the foreground and it's that simple so you can do these very quickly these are um, this these any of the um, digitals are for your in-person photography sessions so you can have your you know advertise for your minis and or your digitals and um, snap a picture of your clients and then you know voila it doesn't take very long to put them in in this I have Santa snow globes galore um, this is just this year's version I also have snowmen um, I have empty snow globes etc and again these are great for newborns family pictures siblings singles etc so um check it out um and if you're not a member of my educational group i'll link it below um and uh, make sure that you shop directly on my website my prices are always less expensive on my website because i don't pay as many fees as i do to etsy and also i have thousands of backdrops on my website versus etsy where i keep it smaller because again fees um, we pay a lot of fees as etsy sellers um, so I try to keep all of my sales as, as much to my website as possible. So save money and shop directly on my site, terramapes.com, and I'll link it below. Until next time, stay enchanted.